Alright, here's a uh, typical 8x12 box. For 8x12 shed. Uh, joist. 92 and 3 quarters. I think 10 of them. Uh, bands and runners are both 12 foot even. Bridging blocks. I just did this actually show the bridging blocks. Uh, I forget the measurement on 13 and a half. I always cut my bridging a little bit short on the ends. At least on these sheds. At 13 and a half. I think the actual measurement is like 13 and 3 quarters. It's nail tight. You see it bowed in. Or I can see it bowed in. But uh, after I drop this sheet and get the ends right, I'll center it. Right over there on my joint up, it, on that joist right there, and they're all pretty much held where they belong. But I'll pull my all my marks. But after I set it up right there and nail it, and this side's already nailed, the front of my sheet will determine how much the out. Uh, that two by four, I back it back off that block. All I'm doing is going flush with the front of the sheet. Same thing on the rear. It's really not very difficult. Pretty straightforward. But yeah, that's about it. I'm about to drop some sheets on. And definitely, uh, I think you box together, you nail know, all four corners on the runners, don't nail the centers, but nail all four corners on the runners. Right here, I lined it up right here. That's my nail hole. I was using chalk line, pretty much quarter inch off. It's easy to eyeball and not have to measure it out. There's where I had it a minute ago. And then I just, every fourth uh, joist, which is four foot centers, that's where we're gonna have brakes anyway in plywood. So that's where I straighten it up. That's the only places really I don't care between. I mean, between four foot, four foot, you know, every interval, it's really not gonna bow out that much after you line the whole thing up at least. So get a straight line, make sure I'm a quarter inch there. While I'm holding the string, get it a quarter inch, drop my string for a second, throw a tack there. Put it back and then check this. Uh, I think it was running out like an eighth. I just came over here, where's my mark? There's the mark I did. Where I need to move it over an eighth. See? And all I did was mark it and then just move it an eighth inch off my mark and I was done. I didn't even check it again. I know I don't need to. After that, then I just pop my center line. You can do it all by center line. Sometimes, I don't know, I do it different ways. This time I did it that way. It was easier. Alright, that's it. Box built.